They'll be the future big guys. You guys are all there once too, right? Get in there, guys. Get your day in the sun. There you go. <laughs> future Hurricanes and Tiger Cats. Well, Mike, thank you very much. Brent, thank you. And, um, excited to be here. I want to uh, thank the Hurricane Organization and the Tiger Cat Organization um, to lend their name or that allowing us to work with them. Uh, two of the strongest brands the strongest brands in Hamilton football. It's exciting to be a partnership going forward with them. The fact is, over the, the past decade, for years, we all know Hamilton grassroots football has been fragmented. Brent, our president, has given me the mandate to develop, create a vision, have Hamilton Wentworth lead that vision to create one comprehensive league that families can start at age seven, work their way through, play for the Hurricanes if they choose, age 23, go on to university, and go on to Tiger Cats, play pro. We call Hamilton Wentworth minor football, play like the pros. We've got a winter camp going on, we've got off-season skill developments. We're gonna roll into a spring program, house league system, I'll talk a little bit more about that. And then we're gonna get after it in the fall, just like everybody else does. Don't underestimate what today is, folks. I know everyone looks back and might say it's amateur football and look at these guys. This is what it's about. Today, I think what you'll see is the first step towards Hamilton coming together, or at least a coordinated effort to do that. And I'll talk a bit about that. Well, you can see the support. Frank Estesi from McMaster, recruiting coach and linebacker coach here today. Dave Watkins, Michelle, uh, Nicole Demers from the Tiger Cats. Okay, the major players in the city are coming together that believe in this vision. And we want to make that happen. Now is the time. Now is the time to create this vision where families can compete all the way through. Now is the time where we need to focus on the kids. We need to focus on families. We need to create partnerships, coaching, and infrastructure. And bring all those together bring all those together and make Hamilton a strong, powerful organization. Talk a little bit about those things real quick. And I'm speaking on behalf of the grassroots and our affiliation. And what will happen is, at the grassroots level, in our spring house league, we will carry the Hurricanes name. And I'll come back to the house league again, I mentioned that twice. We'll come back, we'll, we'll use the Hurricanes name in our spring house league. As we move on to our fall rep league, then we'll, we'll carry over into the Hamilton Tire or the Tire Cats, the HWFA Tire Cat name. No different than at the upper level where you go from the Canes to the pros or to colleges. These kids are gonna these kids are gonna go from the spring hurricanes to the tire cats. So in their mind, we're stepping up. And that's what it's all about. Teaching kids every day to go. So let me touch on those few things. And bear with me for a little bit because I think it's important. Kids. What we just learned, or what I just learned, um, being only associated with minor football and having kids in this league, is there is a huge demand for a winter program, structured winter program skills camp in this city. We launched the HWMFA Tiger Cat Camp, working with Hurricanes and, and coaches, some of the coaches on this staff to come and help us. It's a coordinated effort. And we were thinking, let's try to get 120 kids or so we got 232 kids, sold out two months before the event. We have over 30 to 35 people on a waiting list and we get calls every day. We are jammed at Soccer World. There is a demand for youth football in this city. If we create a structure, that'll embrace the kids and bring kids to another level. Families, go back to that camp. We are wall to wall with parents that want to get involved with their kids at Soccer World. It is absolutely exciting that they get involved with their kids, and that's part of what we want to do. Partnerships, I talked about it. You can see the support, I just mentioned it, with Tire Cats and um, McMaster, and now with, uh, with the Hurricanes. And we are reaching out to others. We are reaching out to <coughs> others. We have communicated with the, um, with the HMFA, and we will do a crossover, and, and in principle, we've come to an agreement that we will run a, a house league program with them this spring as a starting point. So we will put a hurricane team 
into the HMFA program for House League. Now let's build Hamilton. Let's get more kids playing football and let's expand it. And let's expand it. That's happening this year. So that's exciting. And those talks with the HMFA are open, they're transparent, they're honest. And they know we're here tonight and they're supporting our vision. And they're supporting our vision. So we're excited about what's happening going forward. It's a step. It's a step. And that's why I say don't underestimate what you're doing here today, what this means for football. We'll look back on this, I hope, years from now and say it started here at the Hall of Fame with representation from the Tire Cats, the Hurricanes, Brent, his vision with the HWMFA. Coaching. So if we're going to expand this thing and we're going to grow this thing, we need a system that's going to coach these kids. We need a system and a curriculum that's going to be developed. When coaches come into our league, you as parents or parents of our kids know that these coaches went through a criteria to be part of what we're organizing and what we're doing. It doesn't exist right now within a structure of a league. It exists out of associations, yes. But does it exist within a structure of a league? Not that I'm aware of. Don Edwards has agreed to come on with us. Donnie's a legend of, of grassroots football for people that know Donnie. So I've known Donnie when I was in my Mac days and doing camps and everything like that. He has a passion for kids. He has a passion for football in this city. And so you're going to meet Rob in a second. But under, under the senior leadership, along with myself, we're going, to, we're going to have Donnie lead that curriculum, design it, research it, work with affiliations, what's the best way to do it, and then work with us at HWMFA when coaches come in. Here's what they're going to know. What's that going to do? It's going to help the kids of football. It's going to help them as they progress to the upper levels, the high school, and yeah, hopefully more Canadian coaches in the CFL. Great news today with Dennis McPhee coming back to Hamilton. Excited. Excited. Everybody knows Dennis. He's just a great guy. Love to have him back in the city. Currently at Western and coming back. Canadian guy. Excited. Jamie Breezy, I understand. Another Canadian guy. He'll be at our camp. <coughs> Jamie Breezy, uh, I think. Uh, he was, uh, I'll just say with the, was with the Evans and Eskimos. I know there's lots of things going on, but he is coming to our camp talking about partnerships. We've got the MAC staff coming to the camp. Jamie Breeze, uh, Mike Morreale, president of the CFLPA, a local player. Just backtracking a little bit. There's been an outstanding, outstanding support of former and current CFL players coming back to support our vision of a common good and giving back. So I talked about the coaching infrastructure. We all know what's happening. Hamilton will have the elite has or will have the elite infrastructure with the new stadium coming and what that's going to do to lift the brand of football in this city and the reputation, that's going to be exciting. I know we're all excited here and I can tell you these guys to play in that stadium was one or two times that we get a chance to work with the Tiger Cats and be a part of that. That's exciting. What do we bring different? What do we bring different that other leagues don't bring and why we think our vision needs to stand forward? McCray Field is the only, HWMFA is the only league in Hamilton with a dedicated football complex. Bleachers, lights at the state, lights on both practice fields, change rooms, on-site bathrooms, concession stands. We can put on a game day experience at the grassroots level that's unmatched. That's unmatched. That's part of the reason I'm here. Part of the reason the Tiger Cats are building new stadiums. It's part of the reason that the Ron Joyce facility was built. Infrastructure helps. Infrastructure helps coaching. That's part of what we're going to draw. Give the tools to the coaches, and it'll be far more productive. We have that facility. Nobody else has it. It's the best kept secret. Is it a 15, 20 minute drive, extra drive for some? Yes, it is. If you tell me a parent, you tell me a parent that won't drive. 15 to 20 minutes more to make an investment than one of these guys standing up here. That's what we're selling. We're selling relationships, hurricane, tiger cats. We're selling people that are going to come to the table and clean this thing. And parents will invest that 20 minutes because they know their kids will get the best coaching, the best field equipment, the best structure, and the best overall organization and vision going forward. That's what we're trying to create. That's why I'm a part of it. That's why I'm excited about it. This is a big day in amateur football. Don't let it slide. Okay, don't let it slide. Spread the word. 
This is the start. It's going to take a lot of work. We know that. We know that. But it's got to start somewhere. And you know what? Why not make it start today? And that's what we're going to try and do. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. For the little set. Appreciate it. Uh, and now I would like to introduce uh, the new head coach of the Senior University Hurricanes and the director of football development at the varsity level, Mr. Rob O'Dell. Uh, yeah. Tough act to follow, Joe. Uh, everything's right, believe me, but. Uh, I'm going to guarantee everybody here that I'm not going to uh, have as many words to say. So, uh, With that said, I first want to thank uh, everybody for coming. Uh, appreciate the time and, uh, and the effort and everything for being here. I'd like to thank our McMaster and our Tiger Cat uh, supporters and our new affiliations. Um, I really am truly excited and privileged to have the opportunity to be named head coach of the Varsity Hurricanes. Um, and also to be uh, a director of football development within the organization along with, with Coach Sardo. It's to touch basically and kind of reemphasize what, what Joe has said, it's, it's everybody knows and everybody who's played football in Hamilton, especially in, in the age levels that we coach, we know that football is, is uh, <coughs> fractured and fragmented in Hamilton. And I've always had a dream, I've always had a dream that to either create, be a part, or help develop a grassroots, full comprehensive program of football. And being connected with these two merging organizations and seeing their vision and their commitment to this program and development just brings my dream to fruition. Now, we look at everywhere and, and, and where, where your kids are gonna play, and believe me right now, with the people that are getting on board, the coaching staff, the volunteers, the support, this is the place to play in Hamilton. This is the place to play. It's a one-stop shot ball from age seven 